Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Python's Realm. I do hope you guys are having a lovely day. Thank you so much once again for all of the beautiful support that you guys have been showing lately. I truly do appreciate it. If we can keep it up with all the beautiful support, that would be fan freaking fantastic, my friends. Now, of course, if you do want to go one further, go ahead and use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or any of my Apex gaming PCs. And yeah, guys, today we're actually going to start off with the comment of the day teapot gamer says try palladium armor and a stinger necklace and look at your regen rate it is crazy so yeah i kind of figured that would be a pretty cool little episode goal i mean well one episode goal let's go ahead and have a look shall we so we got 12 for the helmet 24 for the breastplate that is a total of 36 plus 18 for the leggings that is a grand total of 54 bars 54 times 3 is what 162 we need 162 palladium. Okay, uh, the good news is we've already got a little supply of palladium just by going ahead and digging out the gem tree farm. So there we are. There's a little bit. Just a little wee bit, ladies and gentlemen. Just a little wee bit. So 54 minus 16, that's what, 38? And then 38 times 3 is going to be, I do believe, 114? 114 palladium ore required? I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. I hope I'm not anyway, otherwise I'm a complete nincompoop. So, since the last episode, I kind of decided why don't I just go ahead and get all of the pylon bases done. Because honestly, yeah, building episodes, they really don't do that well in the grand scheme of things. So I kind of decided, you know what, let's just go and get everything done. And that's what I've done. So we have the ocean pylon, jungle pylon, forest pylon, desert pylon, hollow pylon, snow pylon, mushroom pylon, and cavern pylon. That is a grand total of eight pylons, ladies and gentlemen. The only other kind of pylon we can get is the universal pylon. And in order to get that, I do believe we need to have 100% of the bestiary done. We currently have just shy of 42%. So here we are in the mushroom biome. And well, there's already a bunch of palladium that we could be picking up. So that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and do. As I mentioned, 114 is what we need. So exactly 100 more. Oh, snappers. If I found that earlier in the series, I would have been super freaking hyped. Is that going to be a sapphire or a diamond tree? I think it's sapphire. Yeah, look at that. Two gem corns out of that bad boy. Ha! I love that. Oh, God, it's these guys. Oh, I hate them. I hate them. A diamond squirrel? What the devil? Dude, I've got to try and pick that guy up. I have to pick that guy up. We need to try and get all of the gem squirrels. Oh, no, don't die. Um, oh, we got him. Oh, thank God. Why don't you please go away? What the devil? It just hit me like 17 times in a row. All right, there we are. Diamond squirrel. Fantastic. Oh, God. Apparently, we've got the underground corruption around here as well. Well, that's not concerning or anything, is it? All right, hey, buddy. All right, get out of here. Yeah, get wrecked, you son of a gun. There we are. A large deposit of palladium. Uh, more palladium to our bottom right. All right, where are you? There you are. Can't escape me, sunshine. All right, well, that will more than do it for our little exploration session there. We've got ourselves a good supply of various bits and bobs, actually. All right, so it'll probably be a good idea to make sure our safe is nicely stocked up with all of the potion ingredients. We may wind up picking up and check it out. We're even garnering a bit of a supply of souls. Oh, yeah. So this is looking pretty good so far. The safe can go in there. I don't much care about the goldfish. Uh, what I do care about is going ahead and getting my upgrades on the go. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a lovely, a lovely time. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on a minute. So a lot of you guys always say that you can sell these things. Oh, wow. Seven silver. Now, I imagine once you've got, you know, the, the, the best NPC combos, that will go for a lot more. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Let's get this thing underway. 68 palladium bars. All right. What are we going to go for? That's the question. Melee. I mean, to be honest, that seems like the uh, the best solution. Considering we're using the anchor quite a lot, I feel like going for this would actually be in our best interest. So here we are. That's got 3% increased flat damage. And then this has 2% increased flat damage. Okay, boom. Putting it on. Going from 40 defense up to 47. Set bonus greatly increases life regen after striking an enemy. And this thing does 97 damage. Oh, it's literally the exact same melee damage. 
Wow, it looked like literally the exact same. Wow. All right, well, I'll tell you something. Oh, look at all this stuff we got in here, man. Holy mother! Whoa, we need to start ourselves another gear chest, apparently. Yep, and this is why we need a proper storage room, guys. This bad boy did us a solid from the start of the series, but now, since we're in hard mode, our inventory is going to get very, very full very, very quickly, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what else do we have here? A palladium sword. If I reforge that, so that's got fast speed, that's also got fast speed. If I could maybe get a legendary one? I mean, that'd be kind of cool, right? I don't know, man. This is fast. I would almost argue... I mean, they both say fast speed. But... I feel like the Knight's Edge is actually very, very slightly faster. Let's see if we can get a good reforge. That'll be fan-freaking-tastic. Alright, so... Reforging the Palladium Sword. Uh... Ooh. Okay. Nice. I like it. I like it. But I wouldn't mind something with... Hey! Two increased melee damage! Woohoo! Look at that bad boy. I mean, it does have more crit chance, so technically it's got the ability to have a higher damage output. Hmm. Okay. Well, Knight's Edge, you are done for now, my good sir. But real quick, where is the guide? He's still up at the very top. So according to you guys, the recipes for the true Knight's Edge and the Excalibur have actually changed. Oh. So you now need to go ahead and get all of the mech souls. And then you can do this thing. You don't even need a broken hero sword anymore. So moving on to Mithril, ladies and gentlemen. We have eight bars already from the small supply that we managed to garner from Crate. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be ten Mithril bars in order to make ourselves the Anvil. Unless it's a slightly higher amount. Well, either way, we're going to need ourselves a decent supply of this so we can make ourselves a Mithril pickaxe as well so let's grab ourselves out a spelunker potion and we are pretty much going to get straight on with this thing and i tell you what should we go ahead and start it from the bottom i think that'd be a great idea let's go to the cavern pylon area this has been set up right above the underworld just so we've got like easy travel like literally this is the final layer before it becomes the underworld like literally if i go out here onto the very block below underworld okay see i literally made it as low down as you could possibly go with it still being classed as cavern. Like, I don't even know if you could even place this down in the underworld. I've got to be honest with you. Oh, another obsidian rose. How fantastic. Nice. All right, look at our health regen. Whoa, that is quick. That is quick. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, in terms of the mithril and titanium we have in our world, I mean, honestly, just scouring the top of the underworld is typically considered one of the best ways of getting a good supply of those two, the titanium and the mithril, that is. So, yeah, we're looking pretty darn good. Hey there, fat bat. How you doing? Get out of here, fat bat. No one likes you, fat bat. Get out of here. Hey, how's it going? Hey, that's kind of cool. I kind of want to get my net back out and like, start picking those bad boys up again. There we are. Lava fly. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, what the? Get out of here, you son of a gun. A bone serpent kite. What? Okay. We just got ourselves a new kite. I didn't even know this existed. I'll be honest with you. All right. Well, we've got a magma stone. That bad boy is definitely going to be useful for some sort of flame accessory type thing. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Who dares? Who dares? Oh, more palladium. I don't really need the palladium anymore. We can literally just skip it now. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to Mithril, oh no, we need it all. Really? The first ever Slime Rain event and it's in hard mode. Seriously, Terraria, what the devil is wrong with you, man? What the heck is wrong with you? At least give me a, a, a decent point in the game where we would actually, you know, assist our progression. Oh, I, I mean, I guess technically speaking, if you want to, you know, go at it from a completionist standpoint, then I guess that's kind of cool. All right, screw it. We'll go ahead and take a look at it. So we've got a hundred mithril ore right now. Let's go ahead and take ourselves back home here. And ladies and gentlemen, there we are. Mithril bars. It is four ores per bar. Okay, so we've got ourselves 33 with the ability to make a 34th. Very, very nice. So popping up here, we can make ourselves the Mithril Anvil. It is indeed only 10. All right, cool. And look at it, guys. There it is. 150% pickaxe power, the Mithril pickaxe, requiring 15 bars plus 4% speed. You know what? 
I'm going to take it. I ain't even going to be heartbroken about it. Well, let's go ahead and get this event out the way. Again, in terms of being a completionist, I guess this is something that has to be done. Oh, there he is. He has arrived. Come on then, Butsky. You want to try it, do you? I'm going to freaking ruin your butt. There we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolute destruction and death befalls you, sir. Oh, God. Okay, we're actually getting a little bit uh, overwhelmed here. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to use this. Yeah. Wait, there's a pinky around. Pinky! Oh, my God, there's a pinky around. Oh, yep. Yeah, that, uh, that'll certainly do the job. <laughs> Hey, 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 hang on a minute. I'm not dying to King Slime in hard mode, okay? That is not something that is going to happen. So how about you lot all go ahead and die due to the beautifulness that is the Star Cannon? Oh my goodness me. Absolute death. Wow. <laughs> Yep, that'll do it. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the recipes for the magma stone. The molten quiver. Ooh. Lights, wooden arrows ablaze. We've got the magma skull right here, which eh, maybe in the grand scheme of things might not be that interesting. Uh, the molten skull rose. Wow, melee attacks inflict fire damage. And there is the fire gauntlet. So going ahead and making that, we can pop ourselves up here to the Tinkerer Workshop. There's the Obsidian Skull Rose. And there's the Molten Skull Rose. Ooh, brand new for 1.4. Gotta be, because I've never seen this thing before. All right, so this seems to be like a little bit of a melee kind of dealio. I kind of like it. All right, guys. So titanium is something we have nothing of so far. So we are going to be starting entirely from scratch with our supply. So I'm going to go ahead and bring myself four Spelunker potions down with me. And we are hopefully going to garner ourselves a decent supply by doing exactly what we did with the mithril. If we head down to the underworld and start doing ourselves a little bit of that, that should help us in our pursuit of getting titanium. Titanium. Oh, dude. It's my outro music. <laughs> the underground hollow. Oh, I love hearing it. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I don't know about you guys, but there's just some songs in this game that just remind me of the old days. The good old days, man. Uh, not that the days nowadays aren't good. Like, they're freaking fantastic. But sometimes you just got to look back at just how far Terraria has come, huh? You know, from the game it once was to the game that it is now. It has come a long, long way, hasn't it, ladies and gentlemen? And to be part of this community for so long and to have seen this game through so many updates is really quite humbling, actually. It's fantastic, in fact. Now, with the titanium, of course, we're going to need a base level of 30 ores to make ourselves the titanium forge. And then after that, I do believe it is going to be, I think it's five ores per bar. It was always kind of ludicrous the amount of titanium you actually needed to garner to actually make yourself anything decent, right? So, yes, I guess the grind begins. Oh, dang, dude, look at that. It's a freaking diamond tree. Hey, all right, that's kind of cool. Oh, my God, a lava trap. Wow, I am very glad that I got out of there in time. <laughs> I didn't even know that was there. Oh, man. Oh, goodness me, it's a root wizard. Oh, God, these guys do a lot of damage. If I could maybe get them to teleport to a slightly better location, uh, then we might actually... Uh, yes. Yeah, oh, God. Woo he did 400 damage. Wow. He literally one-shots you. Good grief. It's actually only four. I could have sworn it used to be five. Wow, okay, so they've actually buffed that. Can we make anything new? We've got the Forbidden Armor. There's the Frost Armor, which you guys know is probably one of my favorite sets of armor in the entire game. So if we garner ourselves, what is that, 30, 46. So we need 46 bars. 46 times 4 is 184, I think. It's not actually that much when it comes down to it. Yeah, we've already got enough for one of the bits of armor, so we're not doing too bad. I just realized something. If that rune wizard has picked up my money, that should mean he doesn't despawn, right? So if I was to merely make my way back over there, we should wind up coming back across him over this way. 
Uh, I believe we went up here. Oh, more crystal shards. Yep, yep, yep. Very, very good. Not only for a whole bunch of, you know, gear, but also pretty good for the super mana pearl. Oh, God, hello. Hi, buddy. How about you go and give me a Nazar? Come on, Nazar. Ah, screw it. <laughs> of course not. Why would I ever get the things I want slash need, except I'm not actually grinding for them. Oh, my God. We're coming across all the freaking natural gem trees today. Look at that. Hey, it was amber as well. Nice. And yet another gem tree. A second diamond one. Wow. The diamonds. The freaking diamonds. The gem trees as well. They're coming in thick and fast. Oh, no. That is the destroyer, right? Oh, bum. All right. Uh, well, we got to be pretty quick. Of oh, God. Uh, uh, huh. No. Go away, you stupid armored skeleton. Yeah, these guys are really annoying. I don't know. I mean, what could we what could we try to use? We can use the repeater. Oh, wait, there's the end of that Spelunker page. Then you know what? We will try it. Screw it. We are going to try it, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Oh, God. All right. Uh, what can we get? So we've got ourselves a bunch of ammo. Maybe the fallen stars? I don't know. Where's my ammo chest? There it is. Just as arrows. Ooh. Okay. I mean, we'll try to do what we can, but my my instincts tell me that I'm just going to flat out die. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Buff potions. Buff, 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 buff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buff potions. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yes. That oh, crap. He's already here. Oh, oh boy. Okay. All the NPCs are freaking out. Don't even blame him. Don't even blame him. D literally don't even blame him. Come on, then. Here he comes. Oh, God. I forget just how quick he is sometimes. Yeah! The damage is real! Unfortunately, we're gonna have diminishing returns on the damage, unfortunately. We have to be careful of the head end, more than anything. Come on, baby. Gotta be careful of the head end. Oh! Oh, God! Full damage. Rip. That was a massive fail. Yep. Yeah, this... This, this ain't going well, is it? This ain't going well. I don't have a freaking arena setup. What the devil do you expect, man? What do you expect? You can't expect me to do this first time from a natural spawn. Oh, what are you, freaking crazy? Look at that. I barely did any damage to him. What the hell? I need better weaponry than that. I mean, maybe I could have used the star cannon. Oh, crap. I really should have used the star cannon, actually. Then again, I just don't have enough freaking ammo for it. If I had maybe like 500 ammo for the star cannon, I might have actually felt a little bit better in terms of trying to use it, but... I just, I, I don't have the freaking stuff to do any of this yet. Are you freaking crazy, bro? I ain't that good at this game. Oh, wow, that isn't nightmare fuel or anything. Uh-oh. They could actually get down here and kick my little butt. Oh, there we are. Wall creeper banner. Give me a poison star. Oh, no, not again. No! Oh, I hate it when they do that. I keep forgetting they can freeze you in place and then they'll just do like 180 damage many times to you until you perish. Oh, snappers. Can you guys see it? Can you? Can you see it? A big old trap chest over here. Look at that. Look at that. Let's get rid of you and you and you. Any geysers around here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Let's get rid of you and you. Okay. Got to also get rid of this guy. There we are. Bye, 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 and bye, bye. There we are. That should be all of them, right? Yay! Ha <laughs> ha! I didn't die for once. What the hell is that? A rock golem? What the? What? What? Is, what? <laughs> what is that guy? I've never seen him before. Okay, he's got two thousand bleeding health. That's uh. Oh wow, you were. Uh... You actually do a fair amount of damage. I uh, I very much do not appreciate that. <laughs> yeah! You see, this is how the pros do it, ladies and gentlemen. You just shoot through a little one-block gap. All right, what will this guy drop? That is the question. He's got like a flower on his head. So maybe that's a bit of a giveaway. Gold coin. 26 gold coins. Holy mother. That's a fair amount. Wow. Okay. I would very much like to go ahead and pick that up, ideally. In fact, I think I already pick, did pick some up. Oh, there we are. Get out, get out of it. I want to pick those bad boys up. There we are. Oh, wow. 
11 stone blocks. So I'll tell you what, guys. We'll go until we've run out of Spelunker Potion here. And we'll get back to base and see what sort of stuff we can make. If we have a surplus of titanium, then we'll probably make ourselves some uh, titanium gear. Because why the hell not, I guess? Ah, well, that's interesting. There's a shadow chest up here. I did not think they could generate this high up. <laughs> it is an actual one as well. Like, it came up on the Spelunker Potion thing. Wow, okay. <laughs> you do you, Terraria. Generating shadow chests way the heck up there. I don't, know. I don't even understand, man. Don't even get me started on how much I don't understand this game. Oh, my goodness. And there we go. The last of the Spelunker Potions has just about run out. We have 290 titanium ore, guys. That... I don't know about you guys, but that's a, that's a pretty dang high amount. All right, let's see how much we get out of that. Yeah, 92 titanium bars. <laughs> I mean, I would honestly argue that that might be the highest quantity of titanium bars I've ever had. It's kind of crazy. All right, well, let's go ahead once again and just see what kind of things we can make with the titanium. And then we'll try and determine what we're going to spend our titanium on, okay? So, once again, this requires, what, 30 and then 46. Believe it or not, we've got enough to make two sets of the armor here. But I can make both of these if I really wanted to. The only thing, of course, is I would have to head over to a desert and try to get, uh, you know, the sandstorm things going. And then for the frost armor, we would need the ice golems when it is blizzarding. So, yes. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. The, the cost of the actual titanium armor is way the heck higher, though. So, yeah. Interesting to know. 67 damage for the titanium sword. My goodness. Wow. Okay. Well, I think we're going to save our titanium bars for both the frost armor and the forbidden armor. So one absolute final thing that I want to do today. Guys, we don't have any rideable mounts at all. And you know what? I figured it's time to freaking change that. So check it out, my friends. When we come over here, this gal has some horse saddles. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can actually grow the special trees as well now. A jousting lance. What? Build momentum to increase attack power. Wow, that's cool. Dark horse. I mean, considering... Considering our sort of, you know, our look. Oh, dude, this is amazing. 46 miles an hour. Oh, dude, this is fantastic. Woo! Look at me. Oh, my dark horse is amazing. Oh, it suits our freaking look so well with the demon horns and the obsidian molten skull rose thing. Oh, I love this. Look at me on the mini map as well. Look. <laughs> I look like a freaking demon. Oh, this is fantastic. I love it. All right, guys. Well, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, you guys know what to do. Drop a like if you haven't already. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell so you don't miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, as always, have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.